One hundred years from now, none of this will matter. Your bones will be all powder. Your poems will be forgotten. Your food will be all rotten. Even your powdered pancake batter. But if you're really lucky and your life should go so ducky, one of your pieces might end up in print. Even if your name's not Zacchaeus, Spilius, Angus, or Clint. And although you'll still be just dust just the same, maybe your ashes will stir when some obscure poetry connoisseur mentions your name. But most of the world will be too busy with matters at hand Like how five billion Chinese made a black glass parking lot out of Middle Eastern sand Because they needed the room And the only way was to push people out of the way With an ultra scary skin removing mushroom sonic boom And one thousand years from now none of that will matter Because four more nuclear wars will have taken place And the king of the world will be as mad as a hatter And your boats will still be powder And the noise in the streets will have gotten a lot louder And the king of the world will eat mushrooms Chowder. And not one person alive on the face of the planet will know your name. But just the same, somewhere down in a deep archive, there's a handful of scribbled words somehow keeping you alive. The deep archive is dingy and scary. The deep archive was the city library. And if your life should still be fortunate, the roving mobs of murdering anarchists won't be torching it. And by now, the only one who didn't have a scrub you all clean from the history of the world. What's a poetry scene? What's a poetry slam? Fifty billion people won't need such things in a wounded world, damned and dying to bleed. And ten thousand years from now, none of that will matter. Because Mother could only hold seven hundred billion. They were writhing and screaming and polluting and shitting and crying and bleeding and oh, mad as a hatter. Mother turned them all crazy and they turned them loose on each other. Where they got it and named what Mother mother. They set the world ablaze. It hit the sun behind a burnt sienna haze. They poisoned themselves trying to poison one another. And their putrid, rotting corpses fed the tired, scorched earth of the mother. But over the next 90,000 years, mother put on a new meeting instead of clothes. And 100,000 years from now, all of this will matter. Because the continents are forested, the seas are rarely harvested, the polar caps are thick, old mother's healthy to her core. And the human population numbers less than half a billion, and that's just the way they like it. Always sticking to the plan. Never more than half a billion. Never more! Never more! And the peaceful folks appreciate their near nirvanic state. Colonies of 50 to 100 living in the forest, they study scientifically and excavate the wounds of the lands before the cleansing. And sometimes they find evidence of something other than hate. He digs down through the powdered bones of you and your descendants and comes upon the ruins of an ancient crumbling place. He reads your words, his translator translates, and a smile crosses his face. So write well, write often, and write from your heart because we're all going to play a little game. Well, let's see which one of you can make a person 100,000 years in the future say your name.